ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू रीड एन एक्सेल फाइल विद इन दी पाई चाम पाइथन कंपाइलर सो हाउ वी कैन डू इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर इज ए स्पेशलाइज लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एस एक्सेल रीड और एक्सेल आर डी सो यू शुड हैव टू इम्पोर्ट इट आउट सो यू नीड टू राइट इम्पोर्ट X L R D and while importing it for the first time, it will show an error. Okay, so you need to click on this sign, and here there is an option for to uh, install this module. So you can click it, and your error will be gone. After this thing, we need to write any variable, and here our variable is location. it is just a variable you can write any other thing here like lock or locate or anything like location and what it will do it will take our path and store store the location inside this location variable like here we will enter a path path of the file which is need to be read okay so we will go for our file and here you can see that our file name is error so we need to click on this error and we will go to properties now its location is in the drive d its name is error and dot xls is the extension so we will write here like this we will write here error dot xls okay so this path our path is stored inside this variable so rather than the whole path we just need to write location and our compiler will get the path now we need to declare one more variable and that is uh, we can call it as where for work book okay okay you can write w b r w r b k r anything okay if you want okay it is a little bit complex so you can uh, write a simple variable as well now we will write excel r d dot open underscore workbook underscore workbook and here you need to put the location variable so location means this location now open underscore workbook is actually a specialized built in function of the xlrd library so that is why they have a simple dot sign in between them so open workbook will be inside this library and after and what this function will do it will just uh, read the whole or open the workbook that is our excel file and then store all the data in variable underscore workbook variable so all this will be replaced by this simple variable after it we need to write for sheet okay we need to write to uh, first this function has opened the workbook so after it we need to write for sheet Uh, like uh, if you want sheet is equal to sheet is equal to so first we will copy this uh, it's called as the variable for workbook and then dot after this thing after this thing we need to write sheet underscore by underscore index of 0 okay now what about this variable this variable is, is having all this information in it okay so rather than this library this function and location we are just writing this variable and dot sheet by index is a specialized function and dot 0 means that our uh sheet is zero okay sheet uh, is uh, like at zero okay 
because in workbook in whole you can see that we have this is sheet number okay here it is uh, zero but okay it, it, it will treat it as the zero zero at zero index okay and we also have written Ali Adnan Michael and John in it so these are our four uh, elements now in the last we will print all these components okay after reading so print sht dot now sht is this variable which is containing all these information in it okay so print sht dot cell underscore value now it will read the cell this function dot cell underscore value dot cell underscore value one comma zero okay one comma zero so it this will print uh, row one and column zero value okay so what we will get uh, we will get uh, all, all on what's called as the uh, on console so we will run it out so so we we got adnan okay uh, now because it is in at uh, number first row okay now now we will write zero and zero i think we will get ali okay ali okay because it is at uh, row zero column zero and what about row two and column zero i think it is john or My michael so it is michael and what about this third one it will be john so hopefully you got the concept that how we can fetch a simple value from any cell within the uh, excel file with the help of python pycharm compiler so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe